Well, tonight, as you know, is garbage night. Sunday night. Garbage is collected Monday morning. And I collected some things. Or some things followed me home. First, we have another Toshiba TV DVD player combination. You can see back here's my other Toshiba TV DVD player combo. Um, they're pretty much the exact same thing. Um, they were both made in 2004, and they're actually the exact same model. Model MD13P1. So yeah, I have two of the same TV. And this one came with a remote. It's not the original remote, it's a universal remote by Insignia. But it's nice that this one came with a remote, because this one didn't. Um... I'm actually looking for a universal remote, so this is nice to have. I haven't tested it yet, it's still all taped up, because when I found it, I had tape over the power cord and the remote to hold it all together. And before I found this, I also found this box, which, which had some computer stuff. A Hoyt Packard keyboard. Looks like a relatively fancy keyboard. We have shortcut buttons, help, standby, some extra buttons, like an internet button, CD, DVD controls, volume button, or volume slider, and a mute button. It's nice to have another keyboard. And I also got an optical mouse. It's a GE mouse. I never knew that GE made mice. But both of these use the PS2 connection. Then I also got an AC adapter. I'm assuming it's for speakers, because it came with these two speakers. However, these look exactly like a Sega Genesis AC adapter. Like, exactly the same. So, I'm going to have to see if it's the same output so I could use it with my Genesis. has the same pin connector. And then I got these two speakers. Polk Audio. They're actually relatively heavy. I have some other PC speakers that are fairly cheap, but these are a little bit heavier. Of course, I'm gonna have to plug them in and see how they actually sound, but, you know. And I also got uh, an Ethernet cable. Or something. I don't know exactly what kind of cable it is. And is that everything? Yeah. So, uh... I'll give these keyboard... These computer stuff a try later. But now, I'm gonna plug the DVD player in and see if that works. So, uh... Let's plug the extension cord in. And then we will uh, proceed to plug this in to here. I don't want to edit the video at all. So I'm just going to tear that tape off of there. Let's plug it in. Oops. I heard something going on in there. I plugged it in. Take the remote off. What I'm curious is does this have any batteries in it? I can get the friggin' thing open. That certainly would be nice. Open your piece of crap. Oh my god. There we go. And, uh, what do you know? We have batteries inside. Luckily, they aren't leaked, leaking. I don't know if they're still good. But part of the label is peeled off, so... I'm taking those out to be safe. 
we can try out the remote later. Yep. TV's turning on. And we have a picture. Looks pretty good too. Volume's up pretty high. So uh, see if the DVD player works. Uh, I have a test DVD here. Underdog. Really crappy TV show from the 60s. Uh, let's play it. Alright. DVD player works. Of course, I can't skip the friggin' FBI warning. Which is pretty annoying. So our DVD player works. Let's put the crappy 60s TV show back in the side here. I'm surprised I didn't sell this DVD set. I really don't like that show. I just use it as a test DVD. But the TV certainly works. Uh, I guess that wraps up the test of the TV. So the TV works. It's just going to need a quick cleaning. Uh, it's a little bit dusty on the outside, but it's not too bad. Um, and then I'll test the, uh, computer stuff later. Actually, I can test the computer speakers right now, I think. Actually, I can't. I forgot the extension cord only has one plug. So I was going to say, I can plug the computer speakers right into the headphone jack. Nope, can't do that. So I'll test this computer stuff in a future video. Well... Maybe. I'm not sure if I'll make a video, but we know for sure that the TV works, and the DVD player works, so... I'm gonna have to see if the remote works, and then, of course, I can just sell the TV. Now I have two TVs I can sell. Actually, I have a few more. I'm gonna sell these two TVs, uh, because they're both exactly the same, and I really don't have a connection to them. Uh, I have a Zenith VCR down here that you can't see them selling. This Mitsubishi VCR I have here needs repairs. Then I'm going to sell it. Uh, and then this Sanyo TV, which has the remote, I'm going to sell. I might sell this Toshiba, I'm not sure. This one I'm probably keeping. I just like the styling of it. And it's in really good condition, too. There's like not a scratch at all on this thing. Then this Toshiba VCR TV combo doesn't work, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Probably just sell it for parts, or part it out and then sell it. But yeah, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.